Hey friends, welcome back to our channel. We have a very rainy and wet day today, and so I thought that it would be a perfect time to just kind of take you along with me and show you how I go about making home making a little bit easier. Now, home making is not an easy job. It is a very essential job, and sometimes you get overwhelmed with all the different tasks that need to be done. That's where I was. I was getting extremely overwhelmed with all the chores, and I never was finishing one thing before I started another. And so I decided that I needed to get on a certain schedule and be able to check things off my list that I had completed, and that way I could have a clean home. And that's very important to me to have a clean and tidy home because I want to have that for my family. I want my home to be a safe haven for my children and my husband to come home to in the evening after a long day and just relax and be comfortable in our home. So today I'm just gonna show you how I go about doing it and maybe it will inspire you to start your own schedule and your morning routine and you just have to do small little things at a time. It's not huge chunks that you do, but if you do these little things every day, it will help you to be able to keep your home tidy and clean, and you can also do it with joy in your heart instead of just a thing that you do just because you have to do it. Before I start the video today, I would like to share our sponsor for today's video, and thank Giftota for sponsoring our video. Giftota is a company that wanted to bring unforgettable memories to everyone's party. They designed a series of simple and special gift ideas so that you can remember that special milestone. This is a personalized wooden guest book. It's made of beautiful birch wood and it is hand sanded with smooth and stable cuts and it's free of wood chips. Your friends and family can write their special message or you can decorate this guest book to match your special occasion. Our oldest daughter had her 20th birthday this weekend and so we've been prepping for that all week and I wanted to do something really special for her and she can have this to remember this important milestone in her life. You don't just use this for birthdays, you can use it for anniversaries, retirements, or whatever you prefer. I started out by painting this a green color in the color celery. I used paint from Walmart and I gave it two coats of paint and then I set it aside to dry. This is what it looked like after it was painted and dry, and then I decided to change the color to pink. It matched our party decoration so much better, and so I gave it two coats of the pink paint, and then I used this glitter blast and gave it a little shimmer so that it would match our party decorations a little bit better. And then I just put it in a basket, and I love how it turned out. You can check out the link in my description box below to get your very own personalized wooden guest book. Gift Tota is having a sale right now and they also offer free shipping and a 30 day money back guarantee. So one of the things that I do to make homemaking easier is I use a planner. Now this is an old one from 2022 and I bought it when we moved into this house but I forgot about it and I didn't use it. And so I got overwhelmed really quickly and I pulled this out about three weeks ago and said I need to get back on my planner. It just helps me to be more organized and just helps me to perform simple tasks and not get so overwhelmed. So this is the task that I do every morning and then I do these every evening. And then I have a main task that I do through the week. And then these are the days that are broken down of what I do each day. 
Now, some of these I have to change around because they don't fit my schedule, but for the most part, I follow this pretty strictly and it keeps me on task. I'll put a link in the description box below of which planner I use. Um, she doesn't have any of these for 2023. She does have some downloadable um, PDFs that you can download and use it. I think she starts selling the books for the new year in either September or October. So I will remind you of that on my community page. And if you're not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe because I'm very active over on the community page and I keep you um, in touch with sales that might be going on. And I'll also let you know about the planner if you're interested in that. But I'm, I have already showered and made my bed. I did not walk this morning. Um, I usually do that, but I did not do it this morning. And so I'm going to pick up here and just kind of show you how I go through my morning routine. One of the things I like to do at the beginning of a week is to schedule a grocery pickup first thing Monday morning. So I clean out our refrigerator on Sunday evening and we also do a family meal plan on Sunday so that I can grocery shop, pick up my groceries, and have a jump start to the week. I love a well-stocked kitchen. It makes me feel more organized and it makes everything run more smoothly in our kitchen. So I like to put our snacks in these jars and then have a scoop in them so that my family can just grab and go. I also like to put our storage bags in these containers. They are so convenient and I just buy the different size of bags that they have and then I just store them in these little containers. I'll link these down below for you. They also have an option to hang on the wall, but I just store these in our pantry and they really keep everything nice looking and organized and you can grab and go, which is what I love in a kitchen. Another thing I love in my kitchen are organized containers that are labeled. I bought these containers when we lived in our last house and I had a much smaller kitchen without a pantry and these came in handy to keep everything organized and nice. So I just use them here also. We now have a pantry in this house, but these are so nice. You can just fill them up with your dry goods, label them, and then everybody knows where everything is. So it's really good for a household with kids that are looking for things just to label everything. Everybody knows where everything goes and it just makes your kitchen function so much better and run so much smoother. I really love an organized kitchen and one of the first things I do when I get home from the grocery store is take my cleaning products out of the packaging and I store these cleaning products in a container also and I don't have these labeled because I just switch around what goes in these containers but for the most part it is Brillo pads and dishwasher pods so I'll just store them in these containers and then when I it's time to grocery shop again. I can just take a quick peek under the sink and see if I'm low on soap pads or dishwasher pods and I know to replenish those. And I just store these under our sink. also like to keep the food in our refrigerator organized and I think this cuts down on food waste. We were wasting a lot of food in our refrigerator because things would get pushed to the back and so I had to come up with a system that would allow us to see things and to eat those things first and not waste so much food. 
And so I got these little containers. I keep yogurt and I do bottled water and maybe vegetables. I just switch it up for whatever is on sale that week. And then I just store them inside our refrigerator. It makes it easier to see and it cuts down on food waste. On a typical day when I don't go to the grocery store, I start my morning by unloading the dishwasher. So I will load the dishwasher at night and run it. And so then in the morning, the first thing I do is unload all of the dishes and put them away in the cabinet. After that task is done, then I will load all of the breakfast dishes into the dishwasher. And this just helps me to not have a full sink throughout the day. When we get through with our dishes, we just load them into the dishwasher and then we will have supper, we'll clean up the kitchen, load the dishwasher, and then I can run the dishwasher at night. The next thing I do is I wipe down all of the counters and make sure they are nice and clean because I have been putting away groceries and then the dishes and all, so I want everything to be nice and clean for the day. pick up a whole chicken at the grocery store and I'm going to go ahead and cook the chicken so that I can use it throughout the week for chicken salad or to put chicken on top of the salad or anything that I can make for lunch or have an easy supper one night. So I just put it in my crock pot. I put it on low for six hours. I did take the skin off of this chicken and then I let it cook all day and then I'll have that prepared for the week. I also want to make sure that my sink is nice and clean, so I just use vinegar and a sponge and I give it a nice scrubbing and make sure that it's really clean for the day. And I do this several times a day just to make sure it's clean. And then I just grab my vacuum cleaner. I give everything a quick cleaning and make sure that the table is clean from any kind of breakfast foods and anything that may be over there that needs to be vacuumed up. One of the things that has been really helpful for me is to wipe down all of the bathroom sinks and the countertops. This helps me to keep the bathroom clean throughout the week and so when it's time to deep clean it for the week it's not as difficult to clean it because I've been cleaning a little bit through the week and so I make sure to do this task every day. Next thing on my chore chart is to tidy up the main living space. And this room is pretty clean. I just have some laundry that I need to put away. And then the basket needs to go back into the laundry room. And then the pillows need to be fluffed. 
So that's all I had to do in this room today to keep it nice and tidy and clean. The next thing on my list is to do a load of laundry. I am doing a load of towels here and I'll just put them on to wash and then I will fold them and put them away, usually in the afternoon. I love this time of the morning when I can come out and water all my flowers and just walk around the yard and see what's blooming and just look at all the pretty flowers. They bring me so much joy and this is one of my favorite things to do is to come out and water everything. It's so relaxing to hear the birds and just to take care of the flowers. I did a deck refresh here on this deck earlier in the year and I have a video with all that I'll link below in case you're interested in seeing that and these flowers have held up really well. I plant these ferns by our door and these are Kimberly Queens and they've held up really well also but they're some of my favorite flowers to take care of. This is our vegetable garden for this year. It is small but mighty, and this is called square foot gardening. It's not a new concept, but it is new for me. Um, we just had planted tomato plants in this garden bed, and my sister told me about square foot gardening, and I was definitely interested, but I had never tried it. And so my family came up one weekend and I had this garden bed. Um, I bought it about three years ago and I just planted tomato plants in it. And so we put it together and got the dirt and all and the plants and we put it together one night and we planted all this as it was getting dark because the next day was supposed to be a lot of rain and they were leaving soon after that. So. We had to get it done while they were here, so we did it in the dark, and it's done pretty well. So we've got tomato plants, cucumbers, squash that are literally taking over the box. I have pruned them back so that this little artichoke can get sun and hopefully grow up big and tall and give us an artichoke. The bell pepper is not doing so great. And then this is lettuce over here. So I've already gotten some lettuce and then I sowed some more seeds. So this is our second batch here. And I've gotten one tomato and one squash out of this. So this is a fun summer project. I'm hoping to add to it maybe next spring. And I would love to just make this whole area a garden space. So that's my future plans and um, maybe we can get that started and just do it a little bit at a time. But I really enjoy this little garden. I love coming out and working in it. And then when you see the fruit that it's bearing, it's so rewarding and it's so much fun so hopefully we'll be getting some vegetables soon
Well, friends, that about wraps up this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram and our blog, Our Contented Home. I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye-bye.